Good morning all. Just a quick update on what's been going on um, here in the life of Dave's diaries in France. I haven't put a video out uh, for uh, a few days, actually three weeks. Um, I've just been busy with other things that um, I haven't took the camera along with me. Uh, I know I've got a bit of a nick there, that's uh, that's the hazards of bush cutting and taking trees down and such. So I have been busy. Here is a compilation of uh, things that uh, I have recorded over the past three weeks. Um, I will be back on schedule very, very soon. And uh, let's just uh, drive forward and uh, see what happens. It's going to be exciting. Without further ado, let's roll the intro. Good morning all. It's uh, a sunny, breezy day. What and what feels like ten days of rain has, has just passed. And uh, everything is just growing fast. As you can probably tell, um, I'm at our Durapa. Apologies for the wind noise. It is quite breezy. Um, so today I'm just going to uh, cut some vegetation back and uh, do the lawns. Nothing really to show. But um, I'll uh, show you around once I've done. Catch you in a bit. Well, it's still sunny, which is great. And the garden has now been done. Quick walk. And while I was streaming, um, a little old lady came up to me and um, one of the adjoining neighbours at the back of the house, um, she was telling me that uh, she just, three months ago, she'd lost her husband and um, they want uh, the tree cut, cutting back in their garden. So... And I muddled through with my my Frenglish. Um, so I'm going to have to get that in somehow. Um, which I don't mind doing. Um, yeah, I don't mind doing. Who, who, who would mind doing that? So uh, I've got to fit that in. That's not an issue. Anyway, it's uh, back home now. And um, veggie patch update. Oh, I've been working all day. I forgot to give you... A veggie patch update didn't I excuse the wind uh, right let's have a look wow radishes something's uh, nibbling at them but I've got to separate them carrots I'll have to separate them too carrots there all good so far that's really positive uh, parsnips they look better. What do you think? Never grown this stuff before. This is the Mrs. Uh, uh, Wildflower Garden. Just looks like a load of fern to me. Oh, look at this. Look at my onions. Oh, 
I've got to snip them because when they broke like that I have to snip them I have to do that tomorrow that broccoli's looking a bit worse for wear these broccolis at least four are actually looking quite good so a bit of maintenance tomorrow uh, oh wow wow courgette butternut Butternut. No, no, the butternut. Looking really good, really positive. I'm over the moon with that. Yes, I know. I've got to mow the mow, uh, yeah. mow the orchard. Yeah. Uh, that won't be today. Yeah, that'll be Saturday tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, always good. Get rid of these. They don't need to be anywhere. So yeah, hope everyone's well. I am. Now it's... Uh, sunny again um, starting to get a bit fed up with the uh, rain anyway catch you later well it's G update time so today or rather a continuation of could because I didn't film it from the start where uh, we've started to I've started to paint these uh, this banister from this color which was hideous to this color which is a lot better okay yeah it's work in progress what else have i got to do so i should be able to complete this today fingers crossed but i've got to take that shelf out which i put in previously and i've got to sort out the internet so this Kuwifi thing here has got to go outside and that will remain inside so all this will be removed from this windowsill and eventually go onto the shelf so I've got to drill a hole through there towards the outside and uh, get the cable sorted so that'll be all right. Yeah, so I'm gonna crack on with that. A little longer than a few minutes later. Wow, that was hard work. Um, painting done. Uh, I've got a few areas, a couple of areas I need to go over. But it's done, it looks way better than what it did before uh, all that gubbins with the internet gone it's there on the shelf I drilled a hole through there and it goes outside uh, this cable here is power over ethernet goes to the wireless device outside all is green on the TP link. Internet is up. So uh, that is a three and a half foot wall. That took me an hour to get through. I didn't think I was going to get through. But uh, wow. That, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to film it because I was uh, blue asvanius in the bonds.
the old blue vein came out. But um, it's done. And you got the little device up there. I consider that a job well done. Oh, the mosquitoes just landed on the camera. So, uh, time to uh, take Una for a walk. Right, this um, is part of the Mayan fun run. Um, this is the warm up session. So, uh, it's like a foam party. Uh, they're having lots of fun here. It's a, it's, a, it's a yearly thing they do in Mayen. I think it's for charity. You just get loads of people turning up for, for this fun run, which is basically an assault course around the uh, Mayen River. And uh, as you can probably tell, they, uh, they do have a bit of fun. Um, and it's just, it's just a charity thing, I, I think. But it, it was a fun day out, actually, just to watch them. I couldn't do it anymore. I used to, many, many years ago. But, uh, as you can probably tell, they're having a bit of fun. And I am. So this is a Mayan fun run. So there we go. Oh, 
This is where I've um, got to start clearing some weeds and brambles and new trees that are starting to um, develop around this rockery. I suppose you can call it a rockery. That pine tree looks a bit uh, a bit worse for wear. I, I think we may have to cut that. Um, but the my aim on this was to clear it and put a garage or a, a, a shed from, to store my motorcycle but um, since this that's not going to be the case anymore because uh, the wife has put the stickers on it and um, she just wants me to clear it out for this side, close to the close to the workshop, so I've got a turning circle for the tractor. So I was all eager to do this because I thought um, I was going to get a shed out of it, but I'm not anymore. And I'd measured up and everything. So this is me going at it, and um, as you'll see when I start to talk about it. Um, oh, you've got a garage in my head. But no, I've just got to level it out and create a, and unravel it and put a turning circle in it. In there. So, that's where we are. 
But uh, as you can see, I'm going for it. This is where I got the nick on the head. <laughs> How stupid am I? Anyway, keep on watching. Uh, watch to the end because there's a bit of a, um, uh, an Una thing. She's um, she's still the soppy, soppy sod. Well, she, she leaves soon. I think it's the 20, 23rd or thereabouts of, of June. That's going to be heart-wrenching. But anyway, watch to the end. You'll see a bit of Una. The reason the reason I want to clear this out this area here is because I want to put a small garage because where we had plans last time for the garage uh, it's the uh, runoff for the uh, for the Jeep Foss. Hence we can't dig down for foundations. So I'm just gonna have to put a makeshift shed here for my motorcycle. So it needs clearing out. It's not the ideal because we've got a bloody great tree here. The tree, the tree is on its way out anyway. But this, this is all overgrown and it's been the previous owners have used it as a dumping ground for their plastics and metals and stuff like that which I'm uncovering now which is not good but um, so I need to clear it out level it put a base on slab it because it will be classed if you slab it it'll be classed as non-permanent so you can just lift up the slabs and, uh, and then put a shed on it, insulate the shed, put solar on top because you get the sun bang straight here, a um, couple of batteries inside, some power and it will be a, like a, a bike motorcycle workshop. It should be big enough, he says, hoping. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. Well, it got up to 27 degrees today, hence this is where I'm wear why I'm wearing this uh, trapper's hat. But uh, I've cleared most of it. I've still got to cut back all of these little little trees starting to, de to develop. Uh, the big trees I want to keep at the back, that's an oak. I've got to cut that back. Um, but I need a tree borderline. And then the shed stroke workshop garage is going to go here which i think is big enough for a bike and then this side is going to be a more of a, a garden uh, so that's what i've been doing there and uh, apparently in france uh, they check your water meter every now and again which <laughs> Same in the UK, I guess. Uh, the missus told me yesterday. So I've had to uh, cut back all of this. And uh, I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see this, but uh, the water meter that we have is in there. So I've had to clear that out. But, I mean, that, that's, uh, that provides water for our main household our well is here so and that's fed to the um, standpipe with a an old automatic pump uh, but we have a backup pump which is that over there it's an old one so 
our well water goes to there. The well water is, is drinkable. Um, so I've had it a few times. I'm still here. So yeah, job done. See, this is me. This is this is me mucking around with Una, um, teasing her, I guess. Uh, look, a tail started wagging. Yeah, I'm just teasing her. I shouldn't really tease her, but she's still a cutie. Um, yeah. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, if you like my videos, give me uh, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Helps me, helps helps my channel, helps it grow. If you want to help me out, um, what are you doing down there? Yeah, she's she's going mad. If you want to help me out, buy me a coffee. Link in description. Um, it just you know I I spent. How long have I spent on this? Nearly two hours. What are you doing? I, I, and it's just a basic edit. I'm just putting clips together. I'm, there's no transitions. Oh, you're definitely no in nothing. a playful mood, aren't you? A um, couple of voiceovers. And that's it. You're definitely in a playful but mood. Give me a like and sus subscribe. I'll, I struggle saying that. Yeah, she's mad. I'm going to miss her. But... Um, yeah it's gonna be sad but yeah i'll leave uh i'll leave you with uh, me playing with una so i'll catch you later speak to you soon take care everyone it's a dangerous world out there <laughs>